Scoop, I want to ask Thank a quick you. question. Um, do you, from your, I'm just listening to when you talked about the front office, would you say that they're all on the same page? Yes. But that a lot of that has to do with relationships dating back to their next days. Like, like in 2019, 2020, I was taking a lot of trips to Philly and would be at Sixers games. And I found that before they made the formal Leon Rose hire, I heard about it in Philly. Mm. He's from South Jersey. Um, and so is uh, Wes. I don't know if you guys know all of Wes's history. Like, Stedman Graham is his OG. Oh, sure. Oh. Wes's um, history is kind of like a mystery for a lot of people. To, to those who, to those who may not know, I mean, the, the man is mis mentioning every Drake and, and Jay Z rap song. Hey, hey, yeah, I love it out the world, Wesley, you can never check me. homework, <laughs> 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 but no. Nah, in all seriousness, though, I, I think their relationship, even even how West interconnected with CAA in, in, in Memphis and Kentucky. Do you know? Do you know West's connection to uh, John Calipari? I know he has one, but I didn't yeah. know. I didn't know how it was developed. So when John Calipari was fired by the Nets, he took an assistant coaching job with the Sixers under Larry Brown. Oh, his first recruit was Dewan Wagner, who is Wes's godson. Oh, sure. oh, that was hand delivered to him in Philly when Dewan Wagner was killing it at Camden High School. Oh, wow. when he was scoring a hundred points. Yeah. Exactly. So that, like that, even Michael Kidd Gilchrist. Um, Wes went to high school with Kid Gilchrist's mom. Oh, shit. wow, that's crazy! Yo, the connections are <laughs> crazy. Wow, <laughs> need to... and he started and he started out as basically a runner for for agents like CAA. But even Wes's connection to Camden County, New Jersey, and Philly goes back to when he was working at a sneaker store in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Dr. J used to shop there. Dr. J introduced William Wesley to Michael Jordan. Jeez. And when Larry Brown and, my, and Alan Iverson were having problems, Wes got on the phone with Alan and Larry and squashed it. He was the mediator. Wow. And if you look at the brawl in the palace with the Pacers and the Pistons, Wes was the person who drug Metta World Peace off the court. Oh, sure. Wow. What? Now, now I need to rewatch that. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, I was going to say. I remember. That. Yeah, I gotta rewatch. Yo, that screw dropping, drop, screw dropping the facts right For now. For real, <laughs> I saw West. Yo, I was like, yo, this guy's self-made. I, I gotta give him his respect because most people just know, like he legit. He, my man is like Michael Knight on Knight Rider. Like he legit now. He's legit, man. It's crazy because I was like before he was even hired here. We, I was trying to do research and right. was like, what does West do? Does and then like no one really knew. <laughs> it was almost like you some Olivia Popish type. Of... West? Shut out the World Wide West. Oh, everywhere you go, we leave the world wide a mess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jalen Rose gave West that nickname. Oh, he did say that. Jalen oh, wow. Rose did say that yeah. on the show. Yeah, you know how did. you call WWW the yeah. World Wide Web? Mm -hmm. He's so connected. That's World Wide West. Oh shoot! J Jalen Rose did say that on his show. Yeah, <laughs> he did. Yeah, yeah. Gunshots, man. The gunshots for Scoop, man. Dropping, Ooh, the, dropping knowledge. Dropping the knowledge. Uh, oh, we cutting that up. We cutting the West History Month up. <laughs>